Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today I'm going to be fitting the continuous ink system to the HP OfficeJet 7612 and the fit method is going to be the same for the OfficeJet 7610. So at the moment I've got the printer powered off and the print head is in the ink cartridge change position. The reason that I've got the, head, uh, the printer powered off is that when it's powered off this print head is in a loose position so we can manually slide it when the printer is switched on it generally gets locked over here on the right hand side so the printer must be off for this and it's in the ink cartridge change position so I'm going to install the cartridges just like a, a normal set of ink cartridges uh, you'll have already filled and primed your SIS system uh, as per the other video now I'm going to pop these uh, into the printer and then what you're going to do is going to click and Click and press at the top of the cartridge. Any issues with clicking it in, we do it do it slowly and press at the top or repeat or at the bottom a couple of times just to make sure that it's fully clicked in. And then we'll just rub your finger across and if they're all level then they're all clicked in. Uh, so part way down your incline you will have uh, a clamp that just need to put this on. Uh, you will already have it on. Uh, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to affix this incline clamp inside the printer over here uh, where my finger is. I will pop a mirror in after just so you can see. Uh, so we need to remove the green backing tape from, uh, from the clamp. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to slide it down a bit. It should be in position for you but you're more than likely going to have to adjust it. Uh, and then we're going to affix it on the inside of the printer. And it's just going to be, I'll get a mirror on it just so you can see. So it's exactly here where my finger is on the inside. There is a little recess uh, which it'll, the clip will just fit into that recess. So let's just have a look to see if we can, uh, see if we can get it into. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom in. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see see my clip there fitted on the inside just level here and uh, I would press it down firmly to make sure you've got a good adhesion so we're going to need to adjust the incline uh, now the way you would adjust an incline is to hold on to the clip uh, and then you're manually going to push or pull the incline through just to get it either longer or shorter so you need to push it all the way over to the right hand side and you should have, uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm making it longer by pulling it through, you should have a bit of slack here uh, and then you manually slide it over to, to the left hand side and make sure that it can reach all the way over to the left hand side. And just repeat that process a couple of times. And remember you should have a little bit of slack here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the printer on now because it's going to want, want to run through uh, a, a charging cycle. I just need to make sure, uh, well it's going to sh shorten down the video time if I do that. Uh, but before I do we need to just make sure that the, the back compartment of the, car, of the SIS system is equalised. So at the moment there's not much ink in it uh, which is correct. Now before you do this it's very important that you make sure that these plugs are in. So a no good condition would be that, say the back compartment of the SIS is just full of ink. Uh, this is the air balance chamber, you need to equalise that. So to equalise that, you just basically tilt it on its side and it should, it's okay with a small amount in the bottom, up to about an inch. Now I'm going to unplug the top of this, I'll come back to it in a second. And uh, I'm going to power the printer on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the printer, lug, the printer lid sensor. So a little plug like this in your accessory pack. What we're going to actually going to do is going to pop it in the top there. Just going to shut this lid. I'll come back to this part in a minute. I just want to, to uh, start it off doing a head clean while we're waiting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to, to do a head clean. 
just while we're running few uh, running few through a few things. So within your accessory pack, you'll also have this clip. Uh, we're going to remove the backing tape from this one as well. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to attach it over here on the right and we're going to feed our incline through. Now you can see my incline's got a bit of a twist. Oh yeah, there we are. So I've taken the twist out, so it's a nice straight, uh, nice straight routing. One thing I did forget to mention on the video is here, the incline coming off the, uh, this, the print head should be a nice straight loop. There shouldn't be any twists or kinks or turns in it. It should just be a nice straight bend straight round to your locating clip here. That's very important. So it's doing a print head clean now. Uh, I'm going to leave it to do that. Sometimes you can install the SIS system and do no head cleans and then other times during our practices and trials on this model we had to do two or three. So, you know, if your first print's not coming out very good, uh, do a couple more. Now this is the dye base system. Uh, we didn't have any joy with the pigment one. Now initially, if you're coming away from genuine cartridges, which are pigment ink, and you're coming away to dye-based uh, ink, uh, probably if, uh, you're going to have to run a few head cleans to flush the old ink through. So your first few prints might not be very good at all. Uh, just bear with it, run a few more prints, do a few more head cleans, uh, and what it will do is it will flush the uh, it will flush the old ink out, and eventually it'll flush the, the new ink through. It's probably got about four or five mil to flush through. So don't worry, just persevere, do a few more head cleans and a few prints. So uh, we've done uh, our print, we need, and I can see we need to do a uh, head clean. Uh, so the, regarding head cleans, uh, it's pretty normal to do a head clean on a printer model. It's not been used for a few days or you're changing of ink types. Uh, that's very common, even when you put in a set of brand new cartridges, you're going to end up doing a head clean most of the time anyway. Uh, so right, while it's running its uh, secondary head clean, let's just go back over to the SIS system. So within your accessory pack you've got some uh, small air filters which look like this. These are going to be installed with the uh, narrow pointed end facing upwards. So we're just going to take the reservoir and just going to pop these in. with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. Now this system must be installed uh, level with the base of the printer. Please don't raise it in the air. If you raise it in the air, it's likely to flood your printer, so that's quite important that it stays uh, at the side. Uh, the ink line is not long enough to go around the back on this model. It stays at the side on the same level as the base of the printer. So I'm just going to let it run through now, uh, it's still finishing its cleaning cycle uh, and then we'll just see if we can get some prints running off. As you can see on this model it, it's really straightforward to fit, it literally takes 10 minutes and you've just got a couple of clips, uh, it's so easy to do, there should be no reason why you can't convert to a system on this model. Uh, it's going to save you a packet on your printer. I'm still here, I'm just waiting for it to clean. It can often take a couple of minutes to run through a head clean. But uh, there's no point taking it out of the video or omitting it because at the end of the day you're going to have to do one. There's no point in showing a video install that's not true. So many of the, the other people uh, on YouTube that do the videos, you know, they, sometimes they'll show you how it's fitted if you're lucky. A lot of the time they won't do any prints or they'll just show you it fitted but don't show you any of the tubes which is a bit pointless really. Yeah, so that's how you install and fit the continuous ink system uh, on the HP OfficeJet 7610 and the 7612 from City Ink Express. Thank you.